Some of the most anticipated characters in a while, Kazuha and Novelette, have finally had their banners fully revealed, and we're going to talk about what kind of accounts these are worth it for, which should skip, should you get Kazuha or Novelette, should you roll for cons or the weapon banner, let's talk about all of it. Welcome to Jello Impact, where I have built and tested every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. So a lot of people have been asking, should I get Kazuha or should I get Novalette? And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to hit it with you right off the bat. The ironic part is I just wasted time by saying I'm not going to waste any time. Don't you hate when YouTubers do that? I hate it when YouTubers do that. Um, the long and the short of it is I recommend you get Kazuha out of the two. I Everyone wants me to just give them an opinion. Should I get Kazuha? Should I get Novalette? They don't want to hear, oh, it depends. They don't want to hear this or that. So I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give the people what they want. You should get Kazuha. Here's why. The difference between the best DPS in the game, Novalette, and the other DPSs is not nearly as big as the best supports in the game versus other supports. Number two, if you're asking, you don't love Novalette. If you love Novalette, then you should get Novalette because you can't build Novalette teams without getting Novalette. Most people don't want Kazuha to build Kazuha teams. You want Kazuha to support your favorite character. And most characters, including, by the way, Novalette, have Kazuha as part of their best teams. He's going to make, he's the only character that does what he does in the way that he does it and does it so well. The grouping, the buffing, the VV, he's the to the damage, he's the total package. You can use him as on-fielder for aggravate. I've got a great Kazuha video coming up very, very soon. My Novalet video should be releasing later today, so subscribe for that, where I go into all of his teams and etc, etc, etc. But between the two, Kazuha is the more valuable pull. However, however, Novalette is still so good that you can get away with going for Novalette instead of Kazuha. It's not do or die. It's close enough. Novalette has extremely good AoE. He has the best AoE of any DPS. And his AoE, although Kazuha is his best teammate, he can function with other Animo supports, such as Jean, Shen Yun, even Sayu. Venti, he's very good with Venti. So he can work with Sucrose, so you don't absolutely need Kazuha. And Novalette will help your account deal with AoE content because Novalette is good at dealing with AoE content. But I really think that there's sort of under two different dichotomies of what does your account need? D does your account have a bunch of DPSs that could be improved by Kazuha? If so, you need to get Kazuha. There is a slim chance that none of your DPSs need Kazuha, in which case someone might say, oh, go for Novalette. But the thing is, Novalette also wants Kazuha. So to me, this is actually a really straightforward, it's actually a really straightforward answer. And the answer is, the answer is Kazuha. But if you really love Novalette, you're not losing that much. You will still have a great time in the Abyss, even without Kazuha, because Novalette is a decent replacement because he does so much AoE. So Hopefully that makes sense. Um, in general, I just recommend Kazuha is one of my characters that I just recommend to everyone. Uh, if you have even the slightest inkling of getting Kazuha, even if you don't have any DPSs that use Kazuha right now, it's honestly still worth it to just have one in your account because one, he's great for exploration. Two, he's great for the overworld. Three, he's great for the abyss. Four, he's great for pretty much every character has at least one team that can use him well. He's not mandatory. He's not a must pull. If you don't like him, if you don't like his stupid face, Face, totally fine. You can skip him. You won't die. At the end of the day, there's most characters these days have other good teams as well. So even they may have a good Kazuha team or a great Kazuha team, you don't generally need Kazuha. I think the only necessary characters, who are the necessary characters? Not very many characters like really necessarily need Kazuha. I think Ayaka is probably one. And like, you know, for example, Ayato really wants Kazuha for, you know, Farina Bennett Kazuha team. But you know, you can run another team. You can run a Hyper Bloom team. I'll make a full on tier list of Kazuha partners for my Kazuha a guide so subscribe for that looking at the four stars i recently tested yan fei and she was pretty good she was better than i thought she was going to be by the way the reason why i don't really evaluate the banners as a whole is because each account is so different we could look we I'll look I like to look at it a little bit right for most players yan fei is a bit of a dud and so is barbara and then for most players sing cho is a good win to have on a banner this is the first time in a long time that sing cho has not appeared with Yalan. So to be able to get Kazuha and Sinkcho on the same banner is pretty hot, not gonna lie. Now, that's only 
one of three that's really good so you might accidentally dodge sing i find that every banner there's one four star that likes to dodge me so if uh, if for you the four star that's dodging you is sing cho that's kind of like eh. And getting Barbara or Yanfei as compensation is not such a great replacement. Obviously, if you're a Yanfei main, you know, this is a great banner. Obviously, if you want Barbara for your Nilu Bloom or as a Hyper Bloom, or if you want to make Vape Barbara, Barbara is kind of like, she's all right, but there's so many good Hydros that you pretty much never build Barbara, except for maybe for Nilu Bloom, because she is competitive with Kokomi on that team and prevents you from needing to get a five star to fill your second Hydro slot in a Kakoi or in a in a Nilu team let me know in the comments by the way if you would prefer to see a Yanfei guide or a Barber guide this version because I will make one for either I already have a Singcho guide you can go check that out but let me know which of those two you would prefer um but yeah Yanfei is sort of like a comfier slightly less damaging Klee she does good damage if, especially if you run her with you know double Hydro Farina or I basically tested her a bunch in my Klee guide and I thought she was like she's just more comfy to play than Klee while having a slightly lower damage ceiling so that's pretty good and I mean that's the same story versus Linny right more comfy to play than Linny while having lower damage ceiling except it's more of a noticeable lower um, she's definitely good enough but you're gonna have to engage in support impact if you want to clear with Yanfei she's definitely good um, and she can work great with Farina with Yelan with Singcho with Kazuo with Bennett with she works well with a lot of the best supports in the game she supports Burgeon not as well as Klee but she supports it she supports Vape she supports Monopyro she supports Chevrus I think vape overall with Farina Bennett something is going to be your best. Very, very solid four star DPS. Probably overall pretty underrated. I think people generally think she's kind of weak, whereas I don't think she's weak. She's actually a pretty solid DPS, but she's not going to like carry your account because you're using DPS Yanfei. You have to put in a bit more work than she will give you back relative to other characters on the cast. And yeah, Barbara. I want to try Vape Barbara sometime. There's some pretty funny screenshots of Vape Barbara, but but plunge Barbara might be the might be the way to go these days if you want a DPS Barbara but she's not with Shenyun so it's pretty much just Nilu they, it, Barbara obviously for new for brand new players right brand new players having Barbara around as a healer is nice you know your healer options can be limited as a brand new player so having Barbara around is nice no problem with investing into your Barbara no worries but into the late game when you're trying to build big team good teams then eh, not so good and obviously Singcho one of the most broken characters in the game I don't actually find myself using Singcho anymore, which is pretty interesting because I have Farina and Yolan and Novalette and, you know, all these great Hydro characters. And there's just most of the time, there's just too many for me to bother using Singcho. But the fact is, he's a really amazing character. I still think he's an S tier character, the highest tier. Um, I do think he's worse than Farina and Yolan, but he complements that by having some actual defensive utility. 40% incoming damage reduction is really nice. Um, applying Hydro to yourself is not as nice um, but having a bit more hydro application compensates for his lack of damage compared to Yolan can compensate sometimes it doesn't matter because often Yolan vapes every hit anyways um, but he also does have a bit of interruption resistance so using him with someone like Hu Tao can be very comfy you almost get infinite interruption resistance by using the two together and with the damage mitigation he can easily be your only defensive utility for Hu Tao and he just makes any team you're running him on more comfy to play which can be really nice so yeah, Sing Cho good, very good. He is easily enough to carry one of your teams as long as you're using a good reaction like Hyper Bloom or Vape or something like that. Very, very good character. Looking at the weapon banner, like should you go for, you know, Novalet C1, Kazua C2, or the weapon banner? Let's come at this from the perspective that if you're going on the weapon banner, you already have both Kazua and Novalet because if you don't, then you really have no business pulling on this weapon banner. Kazua's weapon is not enough of an upgrade unless you are a hyper Kazua Kazuha min-maxer, you should be just using Fav in general. There are times where you don't need to burst with Kazuha, but usually bursting is good and Fav is good and Fav is good for your other DPSs or other characters as well, usually. If your main DPS does not need Fav, that's where Freedom Sworn sees the most value. Or if you have an absolute crap ton of energy recharge substats on your VV pieces that you can still run EM main stat for your Sans, the Goblet, and Circlet that you can afford to run Freedom Sworn my cause was not min max like that i don't think many people's is it's a pretty unrelatable place to be so although his weapon is is technically very good it's not always as good as it should be and
and it is definitely hard to build for and hard to use in that in the sense that it's hard to build for it's not hard to physically use you don't do anything with it, it doesn't change your how you use the character um novelette's weapon i just talked about it in the novelette guide you can go check it out for a much more in-depth review as to which one but i generally recommend his c1 first because it adds a very very similar damage if not sometimes more sometimes less but the quality of life that it adds in terms of flexibility for team building as well as the obviously the interruption resistance and just the damage overall to me makes the c1 more valuable than the weapon although the weapon is drippy as hell so if you want to go for the weapon because of that drip factor it is a sweet 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 little book it is a beautiful thing so if you want to go for it for that reason i totally support that i totally totally support that it's damage versus r5 battle pass is pretty low but the r5 battle pass is pretty annoying in that it does restrict potential rotation options even though most rotations you're not going to be punished it also means you can't start with novelette in your party by using the battle pass and you have to wait five seconds which is a bit of a pain in the butt not as much of a pain in the butt as serpent spine but it is enough of a pain that i will never ever use it no chance no way um and it is nice that it has each energy regen but the prototype amber being his free weapon does improve his synergy with farina um you don't need it to synergize with farina he synergizes farina fine with this weapon but if you're using him with farina prototype amber it does have it does close the gap by healing your whole party so that's something to keep in mind but it is a pretty big weapon increase. It's arguably the biggest weapon increase across all five star weapons. Um, so, but don't feel like you need to pull it. You know, he is still the best DPS in the game, in my opinion, at Constellation Zero. And it's just, it's very nice that he has a C1 and, an, and a weapon so early on in his vertical investment chart that if you do want to make him stronger, um, you have that option, but he's so strong at a baseline that you don't need to. Looking at the four stars, they're kind of yikes overall one in song the flute and midnight's waltz are none of them are very very good i just want to double check what wine and song even does i don't think i have a copy maybe i do energy recharge weapon pretty high base attack an opponent with normal attack decreases the stamina consumption or sprint or alternate sprint by 14 percent additionally using a sprint or alternate sprint increases attack by 20 percent for five seconds so it's energy recharge with attack I mean, I'm sure you could force this on someone. Most DPSs don't want ER, like Wanderer doesn't want ER. Overall, there's going to be better weapons than this. Normally, if you want ER, you go with Fav or some other, something else. And if you want attack, you go with Widsith or something else because you also want crit. Um, or you go for the new Fontaine Craftable because it gives more damage. So I... I think this is just an L. I've never even seen it on a recommendation for any character. So Bon Song is a no. But the other two are very good. Fav Lance is arguably the best pole arm in the entire game because there really aren't any options for other for support pole arms. This is kind of like um it doesn't brick your account to not have one, but it really opens up character building options. Like if you've watched many guides, you know that almost every support pole arm wants to use Fav. Like some use Katain, some can use some other stuff but by and large fav is the pole arm of choice pretty high er providing particles and there's no sacrificial pole arm so there's not very many substitutes for fav pole arm so if you happen to go for this banner hopefully you get fav the problem is it's a 50 50 as to whether you get an on banner or not and only a one in five as a, as if you get a fav so it's pretty like pretty unlikely that you even get very many favs on your way to one of these weapons unless you go all the way to hard pity which is not a great timeline so you know <clears throat> kind of rough fav greatsword is pretty okay these days it has more uses than it used to like if you're using support dea support sayu mm, i forget who else but it's not bad bad but it's not good good either so overall weapon that i mean that kind of sums up the weapon banners overall it's not bad bad but it's not good good either i would say the, the overall weapon banner is pretty bad bad though like you go for this for the five star weapons and you hope you get lots of fav um i don't think it's the worst five star weapon banner though like if you want to go for novelette's weapon it's 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 pretty good to get cosmo's weapon i do not recommend going for cosmo's weapon unless you have novelette so that is what i think get cosmo and skip the rest and remember characters will always rerun Arlequino is coming next patch. We have we usually get an Archon rerun for 4.6 or for 0.6. So if you're eyeing Farina, be careful. Wait for wait for the live stream at least. 
Fortunately, you don't have to blindly decide whether you want to go for Novalette or Kazuo or Farina. You can wait for the live stream for them to reveal what the five stars are going to be. So that's pretty nice. And just remember that the game is about fun. It is number one about getting your favorite characters. Number two, in my opinion, about making great teams for your favorite characters so you can have fun with them. And I just think Kazu is really good for that. So that's why I recommend Kazu. But if you don't like him, if you don't want to get him, no worries. It's all good. Have fun. Good luck on your pulls. Take care. Bye for now.